In this video, I'm gonna share with you how I clean extremely dirty door jams in the most traditional way possible. So simple, so easy, while getting great results. Now let's get straight into it. What's going on and welcome back to the Wilson Auto Detailing community. If you're a professional auto detailer who wants to become more successful and profitable in your business, or just a car enthusiast who wants to improve your detailing ability, then definitely consider hitting that big red subscribe button right below this video. So right now I am detailing probably one of the dirtiest cars that I have ever detailed. But if you've been following the Wilson Auto Detailing community for any sort of time, you know that I love a challenge. So this is about a two day job. So I'm gonna take you guys through how I'm treating the door jams right now, show you the before and after, and the steps I take to show you how any beginner or expert detailer can follow these steps to yield awesome results. Now, some of you may or may not have been anticipating this, but for this specific strategy and this specific scenario, I am gonna be using my friend Super Clean. It's an amazing degreaser. If you don't have it, whether or not you're a beginner or an expert, you need Super Clean degreaser. It's incredible. So I'm gonna be degreasing the door jams with that, but I'm actually gonna show you guys how I use Super Clean's aerosol can dressing to dress these uh, door jams, clean them, and uh, really just to perfection. However, first I'm gonna show you guys how I use the aerosol can foaming cleaner, and then I'm gonna show you guys how I actually just use my normal spray bottle of Super Clean diluted five to one. They both work great, but because I have this with me, I just like to use it. I always like to be experimenting. So this is a car that has never been detailed, and it has actually been sitting outside, not driven, not uh, done anything with for about three years. So that's why I say that it's gonna be a serious project. And you guys can tell by the door jam here that it is so, so, so dirty. And uh, you can't expect perfection with something like this. I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys the entire door jam so you can see this car has literally been sitting outside underneath trees for several years. And so this is just an improvement job. Though it is a detail, it will not be brought to perfection. But you guys can see why I'm saying I'm detailing extremely extremely dirty door jams. So for this specific scenario, all I'm going to use, at least at first, and for most of you, probably all you're gonna need is a toothbrush, your degreaser of choice, of course, I like super clean, and then a hose, which I have behind me. So let me show you guys step by step how I do this. So we're just gonna start with this bottom part of the door jam. Literally, all I'm gonna do is take my degreaser and kind of just lather the door jam up, and it's really nice because this specifically foams up. I kind of like that. It shows me that it's cleaning really well, but I'm really just going to kind of generously bathe it in that degreaser. I might let it sit for a second if I want to, to really start degrading and, and eating away at that grease and grime. But then I'm just going to take my toothbrush and I'm just going to start scrubbing just like this. Really no skill involved in this other than just understanding that this is a good strategy to use. And I'm going to be agitating the dirt while I'm doing this. Now I'm going to have to do this a couple times with this car in particular because it, there's so much dirt there's no way that I'm gonna get this all in one pass not to mention it's a white car so anything that I don't get is really gonna be uh, highlighted because of the color of the vehicle so then I'm just gonna take my hose and I'm just gonna obviously spray it off just like this and be a little uh, lighter with the hose because I'm not wanting to try to get everything wet I'm just gonna spray it like this make sure all that grease and grime gets out of that door jam, and you guys can still see there are spaces where there's there's grease, there's dirt, there's grime, so I'm gonna have to go do that again and again until I get the result that I want. Now, not everybody has access to the super clean foam aerosol can, and so this is something that everybody does have access to, the gallon of super clean degreaser. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys exactly how it works here, breaking down the grease and grime on this part of the door jam specifically. Uh, it does have a little bit of fume, so you might wanna wear a mask or something like that, but once again, I'm gonna really do the same process, take my toothbrush, I'm gonna agitate it, and you guys can see that even as I'm barely touching this, this dirt, grease, and grime has sat there for years on this white door jam but you see how it's coming up as I'm moving this across. Some of you may be freaking out because you're saying I'm scratching the paint, but if you only knew the situation that I'm in with this car, I'm literally going to have to wet sand uh, all the paint and polish it in the first place, so I'm not worried about scratching. The customer is not looking for perfection. He is only looking for improvement so he doesn't have to dump this car in the trash can. So I'm just gonna scrub it just like this with my toothbrush, put that down, go ahead and grab my hose and hose it off just like this.
and now you guys can see you get the basic gist of what's happening here definitely removed a ton of that grease and grime really did a fantastic job now if you're a beginner detailer you may very well just want to stop there because that is going to get you great results just the degreaser the toothbrush and hosing it off maybe wiping it dry with a microfiber towel but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my VX 5000 steamer and I'm actually gonna go in the door jams to any places that I missed because all the cracks and crevices that exist in a door jam it's just not within the realm of possibility to get them all with a toothbrush alone unless you're spending just a ton of time and that's not gonna make me very profitable in my auto detailing business so I'm looking at quicker ways to get better results the steamer is gonna get in those cracks and crevices it's gonna melt that dirt grease grime away let me show you guys what I'm talking about now I'm not gonna agitate anything with a toothbrush I'm strictly gonna use the steamer so check this out So you guys get the basic gist of what I'm talking about. Now I'm gonna go in and get more detailed, but just for the sake of this video, I'm being fast, but even places like back here where you might not think about, I'm gonna take the steamer back there in those cracks and crevices. That hot temperature steam is gonna melt that stuff. I'll couple some more degreaser with it. Really, it's gonna yield some awesome results. But check that out. We just did this very quickly. Now I'm gonna go over this again, but check out how clean that was from before uh, compared to the before picture of that. And really all we did was the super clean degreaser, the toothbrush, and a hose. So guys, that is like the most traditional and easy way to clean a door jam. It's how I clean a lot of door jams when they're super dirty. When they're not as dirty, I might just take my steamer, take a little bit less measures, but that's the most traditional way anyone can do it, whether or not you're a beginner or an expert detailer. And in my world, super clean degreaser is just a must. It can be used on so many more things than just the door jams. Professionally, I dilute it five to one. And if you'd like to get your hands on some super clean, you can go to your local Walmart. They sell it really readily. But if you want to help support this channel, you can use the Amazon on links in the description box below this video. I'll hook up links to Super Clean, and I'll even hook up links to the VX5000 steamer and several other steamers that aren't quite as expensive if you're looking to buy one and make that investment. Definitely use my Amazon links because if you use them, it does give this channel a very small commission, but it helps this channel stay alive so I can continue to give good content to you guys on a daily basis just like this. And of course, if you're new to the Wilson Auto Detailing community, then definitely consider subscribing because I come out with daily videos just like this on products, tools, strategies, communication skills, business skills, and so much more, all in an effort to help the professional detailers become more successful and profitable in their businesses. And on this channel, I share the exact strategies that allowed me to turn my auto detailing business into a full-time income with only part-time hours. So if you're interested in that, definitely subscribe. If you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, hook up all that stuff in the YouTube comments below. Let me know how you clean door jams. I always learn just as much from you as you guys do me. Everyone, thank you so much for being so involved here in the Wilson Auto Detailing community. And as always, from Luke, keep working hard, and I'll see you guys in the next video.